I'm Sava Marinkovic, I'm with HTech Group, and I help create business opportunities for clients in the digital space. Enterprise architecture has traditionally been sleepy. There was a, a burst whenever there were technical advances, but typically enterprise architecture was something that was the technology, the applications, the infrastructure that an organization used. And this really grew when the role of the CTO grew prominence in, in organizations. Companies had acquired various levels of non-financial debt, technical debt, management debt, operational debt, and enterprise architecture was a means to organize this and figure out how do we address that and how do we make this organization function around all the things that happen between the business and the technology and everything involved around that. That has continued to grow in the last couple decades where everything is becoming software and digital is eating the world. And, and now uh, generative AI is turbocharging that, but for different reasons. And so there are two ways to think about enterprise architecture. The first one is operational. It's like, how do I deploy AI solutions within an organization? What's the tools? What are the options? What's the infrastructure? What's the new type of safety and privacy that's required? Everything is new now and being re-evaluated. And that's the buzz around enterprise architecture. The second though is strategic. And for that impact, you have to think about what generative AI brings to organizations. And this is where many smart people get it wrong, especially consulting firms. Just like search brought the cost of finding information down to effectively zero, generative AI brings cognitive costs down to zero. Search displaced information sources. So Google organized the world. Cognition displaces thinking, decision-making, and higher level of thought. And how does it do that? So generative AI model, think of it as having two parts, a cognitive part or logic as something that the, you know, the author Harari mentioned that we have now hacked the operating system of humanity with generative AI. And the other half is data and information. So you have cognition and you have data. So why does strategy matter? The strategy matters because industries can be broken down between those that use low cognition and high cognition and those that use a lot of data or a little data. An example of this, you think about consulting companies or a product company or a manufacturing company, they all have a different level of cognition that's involved in their architecture and so looking at architecture of a company, it matters how you look at the teams and the nature of the teams are changing too. Because now you have enterprise agents that can be part of those teams and it changes the perspective. So it's turbocharging enterprise architecture. There is a model that companies can use to figure out how to apply their enterprise architecture. And this requires a discussion from a business strategy perspective to the enterprise architect and the organization. The first step of that framework and model is saying whether you're in a high cognition or low cognition business, or what's the value of data and knowledge to your business, both externally and internally. The first part, once you know that quadrant that you're in, then you start organizing your tasks to ask where can the cognition be applied? Where can knowledge be improved? Then you look at the tools that are available and you go through an evaluation of each one of those parts of your architecture from business to application to tools to the technology. And within that, you do things like cognitive design. What tasks are high task, high cognition? What are low cognition? What does this mean for your current way of doing business? And then how does that open up new ways of doing business? So the teams step back and ask, what are the new opportunities with generative AI? And you need the enterprise architect to help shepherd that. And then you need thought leaders to say, what does our business become in this new world? HTech.